Yeah, you haven't heard much about accusations of racism against Jerry Jones. He's the owner of the Dallas Cowboys. He owns the most valuable sports franchise in the world. He allegedly is pictured in a protest against integrating Little Rock High School. You can see the picture there with a young Jerry Jones. To be fair, he was a teenager in the 1950s when the picture was taken. But for all the NFL's issues with race and inclusion and diversity, it should be, by all accounts, a big story. But here is LeBron James explaining why it's not. But it seems like to me that the whole Jerry Jones situation photo, and I know it was years and years ago, and we all make mistakes, I get it. But it seemed like it's just been buried under like, oh, it happened, okay, we just, we just move on. And I was just kind of disappointed that I haven't received that question from you guys. That's LeBron responding to questions about fellow NBA star Kyrie Irving, who just served a multi-game suspension for anti-Semitic comments. Uh, with that, we bring in Ryan Glass-Spiegel uh, of the New York Post. Ryan, it's, it's good to see you. I guess two things can be true at once, right? Ky LeBron can't have it both ways, okay? He can't want to be want to comment on everything and then get mad when he's asked about uh, only things that he doesn't like or only things that he likes. But he kind of has a point, right? That Jerry, Jerry Jones being seen in this picture you'd think would be a bigger story. I, I disagree with you guys, unfortunately. I think it was a pretty big story. I mean, it got covered in the Washington Post, which is probably the second biggest outlet after the New York Times in America. It got covered extensively on ESPN First Take, which is one of their most popular shows, discussed it at length over this week. And I don't think it was necessarily incumbent on reporters to ask, LeBron about this. I mean, he played with Kyrie Irving. They were teammates on an NBA championship team. Um, this is a totally different sport with Jerry Jones. So, no, 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 fair, fair, fair enough. Fair, fair enough that that it's a fair enough that the point about LeBron James and saying why am I not being asked about this? All excellent points. But flip this around. This was not a big cable news story. There wasn't big calls to boycott the Dallas Cowboys or burn Dallas Cowboys jerseys. There wasn't a, a big, big questions to every player in the NFL or to African American players on the Cowboys. How can you play for a racist? It didn't happen. Just hear me out. Um, this all comes down to money. The NFL is a is an incredibly profitable organization for itself, but also for big media companies. You think about uh, Rupert Murdoch, who owns uh, Fox News, also owns uh, the rights to the uh, NFC broadcasts, uh, of which the Dallas Cowboys are among. He has no economic interest in, in pushing this story and causing a rift there. Jerry Jones is on a lot of big NFL committees that control the NFL and media rights that. NBC, MSNBC, that conceivably would really push this kind of story in this kind of narrative. They have something called Sunday Night Football. The Dallas Cowboys are America's team. How, how did Jerry Jones not get a pass? Well, I mean, the, the piece was a lot more um, kind of expansive than just the photo. And, you know, what he said was he was not like a participant and fighting against integration in schools, he said that he was an observer. And it's a still photo. He's a number of rows back. If there was, he, he's probably, he's either very lucky that there was no cameras, phones at that time, or very unlucky, depending on what video of that rally would have shown uh, more than just like that still photo. So, and I, I would say to be, I mean, the, the Post and Fox News are both owned by Rupert Murdoch. So, I'll disclose that, but Fox News was very hard on the NFL during the national anthem controversies for a number of years. So I don't th really think that network is like shied away from being critical of the yeah, league when point. they see fit. But um, fair point. I, you know, I guess in in I I'm much more of a sports media observer than a news media observer. I saw this story covered a lot. Hmm. I'll take your word for it that it kind of slid through the cracks of the news media. All right. Hey, Ryan, always good to have you. Uh, we appreciate uh, the full disclosure as always. It says a lot about you uh, and your organization, uh, which, we, which we read on a daily basis, sometimes hourly, uh, for the New York Post <laughs> website. It's good to see you, Ryan. Thanks. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Yes. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.